Okay, here we are with an update on the tuner. I have it basically uh, ready to go outside and test now. I'll be putting it out there in a little bit. But I want to show you what I what I got here. So over on this side of the case, we have the uh, SO239 flex and foot. Right now I have some alligator clips on that going to a power supply just to, to demonstrate it here. Um, but then there's the DC bias right there to, to take off the DC power to power the uh, electrical circuits. So we have our RF comes in and it goes into the capacitor and the output of the capacitor goes into the uh, shunt inductor here and then this goes out to the antenna. Uh, over here there's a wire that attaches to the other point of the inductor and goes to the ground. And then uh, also over here so we have the ground braid that connects to the uh, coax connector. And then there's also a ground lug right here that goes on the other side, which is where I connect my counterpoise. Uh, so for the electronics, it's an Arduino Nano on a little uh, expansion shield. And then I have that talking to an ESP8266 at the moment, so I can control it via Wi-Fi. So I will show you what happens when I power it up. I'm going to cycle power to it, and you'll see the first thing it does is home. And then uh, you'll notice the ESP8266 module will flash a blue light indicating it's been reset by the Arduino Nano. So here we go. I'm going to power it up. And there we go. Both motors have homed. And then uh, over here, I'm going to refresh this. zoom in a little bit so you can see on there it says home successful that's a message that the nano sent to the ESP8266 and then displays it on the screen and then uh, so for this I gotta have these turned off and then um, in here I can input my parameters to control the different things uh, for instance if I put in uh, C space 100, that'll step the capacitor motor 100 steps. And so I'm going to push, push enter, and you'll see capacitor moves. And I'll do it again. C space 100, it'll move it another 100. And then it gives me the feedback, the command that it got, and you can see the capacitor has moved a little bit more. And then I can also set it to a particular position if I want. So if I do, uh, if I type in um, capacitor position, and then I enter the number, let's say, uh, let's go with 200. Enter. May have been a typo. Let me just double check here. Forgetting my own commands. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try this. I probably typoed something in and, and I'm just not seeing it. So if I paste that in there, enter a number. Oh, you know what? It's already at that spot. That's why. <laughs> okay. So it's already at the 200 spot, so it's not going to do anything. So let's just set it to. Uh, Say, um, I'll say 300. Yeah. Yeah, it sets it to a specific position. I should really demonstrate it with the inductor. That'll give you a little bit uh, better idea. Um, so, in the inductor, for example, if I type in, I can either type an I or inductor. I type an I, and then let's say a thousand. That'll move the, the motor a thousand steps. 
okay and you can see that's where it sets it to so this is to move it relative of where it is now so if I type in I space a thousand that will move it another thousand steps you can see it's moved a little bit more uh, now the inductor it takes 16,000 steps let me try to get a little better camera angle it takes 16,000 steps to go the entire length of the coil and uh, so let's say I have some presets you know, let's, let's say I have it written down that I know that for uh, 40 meters I need to be at you know the halfway point of the coil that'd be 8,000 and I don't want to have to figure out where I'm at now which I can get by the way if I just put in uh, I with no parameters to hit enter it'll tell me its current position but let's say I want to put it to a specific position so I put in inductor position and I'm going to put 8000 that will set it to the halfway point and you'll see now it's going to go to the halfway point There we go. So that's what we got going so far. Now, and I do also have a home command, so instead of having to just reboot it, I can type in home in here if I want. Hit enter, and it'll home. I have it so it always homes the inductor first, and then it'll home the capacitor. And that's its starting point. So, I'm sure it'll be back in. I'll, I'll probably be making some changes, but I'm going to get it out there tonight uh, just to get some initial um, feedback and see how it's working. Alright, thanks for watching.